today I'm going to show you how to remove the cylinder linings on this DD15 engine. The process is going to be similar for DD13 and DD16. Something very important is then to remove the cylinder liners you have to remove the piston freeze. As you can see there is no piston, you can see through right now because the piston is completely removed. So you have to remove the pistons in order to remove the cylinder liners. If you haven't removed the pistons, you won't be able to remove the cylinder liners. So that's something that you have to um, have clear. Also, you have to remove the heads to remove the cylinder liners. There is no other way. So today I'm going to show you how to remove them. Going to be pretty similar to other engines, but this is specific for the D15s. So um, now the pistons are completely off. In this case, I won't have the front end of the engine, which is going to be easier to show you. But you can also do it with all the stuff over here because that's the way you want to do the overhaul. You don't have to remove any of this if you are planning to do an overhaul on a D15, D13, or D16 engines. So I'm going to start by removing the um, cylinder number one. To remove the cylinder, you're gonna need a tool like this one over here on the screen as you can see at this moment my is broken my tool to remove the cylinder is broken but I'm going to show you that you can remove this uh, cylinder uh, cylinder liners with any type of tools I'm gonna be using the old style DD, uh, Detroit City 60 tool which is this one over here this is for the old Detroit CD60 with the emission filter um, after, uh, after uh, up to 2011 after 2011 DD15 engine was the only one left so this tool is completely discontinued there is no use for these tools besides the CD60 but the cylinder liners for the DD15 engines are so soft to remove and you can even remove them with these tools because the other tool the one I showed you at the beginning grabs the cylinder liner from the bottom but this one grabs the cylinder from the size and uh, because I don't have the tool I'm gonna be using that one but the right tool is the other one I show you which I'm gonna have right here again so you can see that's the right tool to remove it but I am just showing you then you can do it with any tool if you for example you have tools only for um, we can say for the CD60 the old CD60 and you don't want to buy a tool you can still use this one so it's pretty easy I'm just gonna put it back I'm gonna put it right here and I'm gonna tie this until it gets completely tight and then I'm gonna pull it now then this one is tight um, all I have to do is to rotate this one with the tool with the wrench it's a one one quarter inch one one quarter and this will start coming out as you can see now I'm gonna pull it out you can see it's coming see pretty easy see the D15 cylinder liner is very soft to remove not hard at all And I will continue doing this until the cylinder liner is completely off. As you can see, it's almost removed, almost all the way out. See? So now, all I have to do is to uh, get it a little. See, now it goes with the hands. See? Completely out. See, now the cylinder liner is out, completely removed from the cylinder block. So all I'm gonna do now is remove the cylinder liner with the tool completely. And this is the way it's gonna look like. This is the cylinder liner for a DD15 engine. It's going to be similar for DD13 and 16 It's gonna look pretty similar. This is the way it looks like. You can see it's all damaged with corrosion because this truck almost had one million miles it's normal to see this kind of damage 
so the cylinder line is out so i want to repeat the process with the other five cylinders left to do and uh and i'll be all i want to do the same thing so um if you don't have this tool if you have the other tool the one i showed you in the pictures before that one is easier because you don't have to tie this one you just like have to put the tool over here to hold over here and here and just pull it out it will come out pretty easy but i am showing you this because in this moment i don't have the tool my tool is broken and my tool is down so this is the way i use this other tool you have to find ways how to do the work if you don't have the try tools at the moment so i'm going to do that i want to remove the other heads i mean the other uh, cylinder liners and then i want to get back to the video and finally i have the six cylinders liners out you can see i have the six of them completely out this is number one number two number three four five and six and they still like in a decent shape not bad for one million miles well nine hundred thousand miles in this case not really bad at all there were no leaking coolant everything was okay with the cylinders at the moment still functional but that doesn't mean that they were uh, okay to last another 300,000 miles not sure about that but what it concerns about problems with the cylinders this engine didn't have any problems with the cylinder liners we want to replace them because it's part of the cylinder uh, of the engine overhaul anyway um, so I already show you how to remove the cylinder liners if you don't have the tool you can use the CD60 tool which is this one the reason why this tool is like this is because you pull the cylinder with a piston inside for the CD60s that's why this tool is like this because when you pull the cylinder liner it comes with the piston because you cannot remove the piston come together you have to remove the two things uh, together I'm sorry you cannot remove the piston separately you have to remove the piston and the liner together for the CD60s for the DD15 is easier because you can remove them individually but you need the other tool but in this case my tool is down as I said before so I, I use this tool and you can remove it uh, it's pretty easy to remove them though you don't have to do a lot all you have to do is to tie this one very well the same way you do with the CD60s and then you pull it out nothing complicated so now this job is completed the removal of the six cylinders the next step to do is to call someone to inspect the cylinder block uh, seats over there those seats over there those the ones you can see over there those over there I need to call someone to see if they're okay to reuse or they need to be repaired because we're gonna install new cylinder liners after that I'm gonna get back to the video to install the new cylinder liners all the cylinders were machined because they had some problems and the baron where the cylinder sits um, it is okay as they say so now it is time to install the new cylinders and here I have the cylinders this is the part number of the cylinder liner kit you need six of them this part number is specifically for DD15 this is a 2013 but part number is going to vary depending if it's DD16, DD13 or DD15 it will vary on that also it will vary on the year and uh, part number changes a lot so don't expect to be the same part number maybe in one year because the part number changes a lot for DD15 or DD13s or DD16s uh, it doesn't matter which one you have anyway um, so we're gonna start uh, the process to install the liners. Freeze, as always, you have to make sure that everything is clean. You have to blow some compressed air to the 
um, orifice of the cylinders to make sure that there is nothing in between the cylinder and where it's going to sit. So make sure to double check that, blow air all over so it doesn't um, cause a problem later because something can get stuck in between. Now the surface is clean, so it's time to install the cylinder. So the cylinder kit comes with the cylinder and two o as you can see there, let me pull them out. 